Oh yeah! Good morning everyone. Actually, ow! It's almost 12 o'clock actually, so good afternoon I guess. Uh, today is the day that we finally finish this guy. The hallway table that we've been working on all week. And also, the legs finally came in from Amazon, so we're gonna be doing that. There's not much left to do with this piece. All we've got to do is sand it, or lightly sand it, and then put the satin polyurethane co coating on it, and then it should be done. So we're gonna be doing that first, and then we'll install the legs. I don't have work today, so I have a little bit more time, so I don't feel rushed, but also it kind of sucks because I don't have that much more to do for this piece. Let's get on with the finishing this so that I can post it on uh, Marketplace for, for sale. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it with the sanding sponge. I'm gonna just be using the fine side. I'm actually gonna do the bottom first, because that's how I usually do it. But yeah, so we're gonna go from there. Once I do that, I'll do the sides. I'll do all of it, and then we can get to the clear coat. Okay, so now I have sanded the table and I've wiped off all the dust with a damp cloth. I'm just gonna let it dry just for like 15 minutes just to make sure that the surface is nice and dry for the polycrylic. It is water-based, but I don't wanna mix with water just in case something goes wrong. I think it should be fine. So I'm gonna wait like maybe 10 minutes, just let it to get dry completely, and then we'll apply the polycrylic by Minimax, this guy right here. Okay, so I propped it up on these plastic cups just to keep it off of the table so that in case it drips it doesn't go underneath onto the bottom or I guess the top surface because I am going to be doing the this is the bottom and then I'll just flip it over and do the top and the sides afterwards. Let's get to it! coating on the bottom just a light coating I'm gonna let that dry off a little bit uh, probably give it like a 30 minutes or so I'm gonna get some breakfast I haven't eaten yet even though it's already 12 o'clock basically and hopefully by then it'll be dry so that I can flip it over and do the rest of the table okay I'm back um, I just had a coffee and some toast so this has been drying for about I'd say 30 minutes 45 minutes it is dry to the touch I did hit it with the hair dryer it's it's dry to the touch so if I flip it and it touches the the little cups at the bottom, it should be okay. It won't leave an imprint on them. Yeah, so I'm gonna do the top side now and then I'm also gonna do the sides. It might need a second coat on the top. We'll see what the actual finish looks like after the first pass, but yeah, let's just get started. So I finished putting the coat on the top and the sides. I actually put it inside just because I wanted to make sure that it dries properly because my garage is pretty cold. And I'm gonna have this door closed obviously while it dries. So yeah, I'll come back in a bit. I'm gonna do some chores. I have some laundry to do and well, I'll show you. I gotta unload something in my car. I may have a problem. That clip was kind of dark, so this is what I have in the back of my car. Just been taking apart pallets at work. These are all scrap ones that they're about to throw out. There's actually some hardwood in here. I believe this one is ash. Nice ash. We have some pine here, and there are four by four pine as well, so I might make a really a thick boy uh, hallway table as well. So I'm gonna unload that, or I might not, because I don't really have space to put it. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can take it out, count how many pieces there are, and then See if I can put some of it away so I can actually use the back of my car. <laughs>
This is some ash, I believe. Um, uh, you can actually tell because these are the markings of the ash burrower pest bug thing that kills ash. But yes, this is a hardwood and my goal for this one is to make a hardwood coffee table. And then this one is just regular pine, heat treated pine. There we go, nicely stacked up in the closet out of anybody else's way. And I can process those when I got more time. I got another 25, 30 minutes until the coating on the table is done. So I'm gonna just browse social media for a bit and we'll come back to it. Okay, so it's actually been like three hours plus now. I did uh, another coat off camera just because there, I didn't see a point of making another uh, clip of me applying another coat of stain. So I just did it off camera. It's been sitting for about two hours. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Like, there are some imperfections, but it's pretty smooth as it is, and I'm pretty happy with the result. So, all that is left is to put on the table legs and see what this thing looks like fully assembled. I'm pretty excited. This is probably the best thing I've, been, I've made so far with wood. <laughs> okay, so before we continue, I'm gonna... Oh I'm gonna open this, this box with the legs in it. They're nothing special, they're just the hairpin style legs from Amazon. They're 28 inches tall, I believe, which is a pretty good height for a hallway table. And these look pretty good. That's what they look like. Wow, look at that. Not bad. And they come with all the hardware and feet in the bag. These feet are basically, you put them on so they don't scratch your floor. They attach to the table, kind of have an angle. So if this was flat, it would angle out just a little bit. Yeah, let's install these legs. Okay, so I wiped down my table as best as I can. I'm gonna put this dirty shirt down. It hasn't been washed yet, so I'm just gonna use that as the, kind of the blanket to put the tabletop on so I don't scratch it. And this is the tabletop. Actually, I gotta put it upside down. That's the reason why I put the shirt in the first place is so that it doesn't scratch the top, so. So, if I put the legs right at the edge, it would stick out too far from the table and I don't want that. So I gotta figure out at what point does this stay within the edge of the table? I'm not gonna make you sit through that. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna install the legs and yeah, I'm gonna show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so it looks like four inches is the, the best distance from the edge of this foot to the edge of the table. So we're gonna do four inches away and then I just gotta find the center. We're just gonna dive right in. So, moment of truth, all the screws are in. I actually even put all the hardware in there. And I also got the, I got the feet on. And that is the build. No, I'm just kidding. I'll flip it over and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, moment of truth. Let's flip this thing over. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Here, let me get y'all a better view. Finally, that's done. Now all I have to do is uh, post it on Marketplace and see how much I can get for it. 
Uh, let me see if I can post it for maybe like 250, 300. I don't know. Seems kind of a lot, but you know, might as well try. And if someone offers me with an offer that I like, then I'll take it. And we can buy more tools after that. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do more of this vlog style series where I do builds. I kind of enjoy editing it like this, and it's a lot easier for me to edit it this way and to put out content like this. And I do enjoy making this, so uh, I've got a lot more projects on the go that I want to try. Obviously, you saw the piles of wood that I have, so I definitely have a lot of things that I want to try to build, and we'll see where this takes us. Uh, I really like doing this stuff. I'm, obviously, my channel is not just based on woodworking, but this is where I wanted to start because I do have a lot of 3D printing and automotive stuff, but. You know, if you enjoy that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing because I do have a lot of plans for this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the build series. Uh, I'll make an update video once I sell this thing. And with that, I am going to end the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Really appreciate it. It tells the algorithm that my videos are decent enough for it to be pushed. And if you want to see more stuff like this, yeah, uh, I highly recommend subscribing. I really want to do more projects like this. And if you haven't seen the other videos, go check them out. I'm going to do a playlist so that it'll be easier to watch. But yeah, this is my first proper woodworking setup. Um, I did do a side table before, but it was just, it wasn't as clean as this. Just looking at it from here is very aesthetically pleasing, at least for me. Anyway, for those who've watched till the end of the series, who've been following me along, thank you. Thank you for your support and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And yeah, here's to many more. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.